Good morning guys and welcome to my day in the life review with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm going to take you on a journey through its battery life, camera use and my overall experience. I am charging the phone to full battery. These are also the settings I'm going to be using today. SIM card is in for the cellular data with auto connect and 5G included. I am using a dark display with adaptive brightness and yeah let me just turn on the comfort shield the screen mode is vivid and for my lock screen i am using always on display and i am not going to use power saving as the refresh rate will reduce and i still want to use this phone at 120 hertz we are now at 100% battery, ready to start the day. Whilst I'm making some notes for a meeting, I'll put some calming music on and I'll be using the speakers on the S23 Ultra. Uh, I know you can't hear it, but I don't want to be copyrighted. <laughs> and now I'm using the Microsoft Teams app on the phone whilst on a meeting. And it was overall 45 minutes, which I was not expecting. And the quality of the call was really good though. Each person on the screen was clear. My camera quality was great from the front camera and the sound was sharp and crisp to hear everyone clearly. Um, but the phone did suffer a great amount of battery loss from this great quality. Now time for some coffee. I know it seems that I'm doing everything backwards, but that's just how the day started for me, okay? So anyway, I also made breakfast. So whilst I am eating, I usually have a quick read of what's going on around the world with the news, BBC News, and I'm using a BBC News app for this. And when I am tired of reading, because you know, reading is quite boring, I will just play the live news channel and that way I can finish my breakfast quicker as well, lol. You know, I'm not that person. I want to try and keep suggesting that we should put frameworks around this stuff that companies should think carefully I am about. now energized, pumped up, ready to get things ticked off my list. But wait, I don't have a list. So with the help of the S Pen, I'm going to go into the notes and write today's to-do list, which is... Hang on, let me find a um, cute Tuesday meme pick thing I can insert into the notes to make it more bubbly. Um, yeah, that is literally perfect. And now in no particular order, just brainstorming. Uh, well, I do have to take a nice thumbnail for this video. So, you know, just thinking ahead, get that done. Next, I am in the need of some desk accessories. Uh, so I do want to find out and add stuff to my Amazon basket and splash a bit of coin soon. So the next thing is taking my sister to the dentist and then I will use her to help me take some shots for this video. She always loves to help, so it's only right. And the last thing is I've been dying to go to like an Asian supermarket to try some of more of their snacks um, because I went to one in um, Chinatown London um, and I just became obsessed so I will find I will track down a place to go uh, locally and yeah sure I could have just written this all out on the keyboard but this made me feel a lot more motivated and somehow the handwriting looks quite tidy and fancy and the s pen is so precise and easy to use so i love it but now can we address my massive desk upgrade this is all thanks to flexi spot flexi spot has got your back whether it's an office desk chair cabinets they are here to make your life healthier and more comfortable at home the e7 model of the standing desk has made my work hours so much better you can also customize it to fit your room colors i have mine in a silver frame and a gray desktop and it just fits right in with my gray furniture this is also the measurements for this one is 120 times 60 centimeters 
in size but there is also an even bigger option if you want that and this is a perfect chance to invest in one of these uh, during the Easter sale still going on and if you sign up for the membership as well you can get coupons and gather points for your orders which is quite fun and the E7 standing desk is stable and strong I am not worried about anything wobbling and falling down when changing height it feels made with really good quality materials and in terms of the height it has an adjustable height of 58 to 123 centimeters also all the cables underneath can be hidden in this compartment underneath the desk it has functions to go up and down it is it has a child lock there is a usb port to charge your devices so it's quite handy i needed to charge my beats and now you see the reason why i wanted to get these new desk accessories to fill it up a little bit more so i am using the amazon app to find like a desk mat and some decorations to fill it in a bit more and i just love using the s pen for like mostly a lot of things like especially for scrolling and sliding pages because it just seems so much more quicker efficient and sometimes my fingers hurt so <laughs> I have a few minutes to leave now for the dentist appointment and I, I might just browse something on YouTube. Um, basically, I just wanted to show you the quality of a YouTube video and okay, it's, uh, it's great. I love how vivid the screen is, it's bright, clear, very detailed. Even if I watch a bit from further away, it's, it's chef's kiss, honestly. So it's time to go and the question if the S23 Ultra can fit in the jeans pocket? It can. It sticks out a tiny bit but it still does and any other pockets like uh, in a jacket it also fits perfectly fine. We are in a grocery shop now I just couldn't help to get some juice and snacks to keep me going and I'm also finding an excuse to use the Samsung wallet while I have to and yeah there we go paid worked fine now it's 4 35 pm and we are not even still a little bit over half of the battery left so that's great so now i am trying to find a spot for my thumbnail and i'm vlogging with the front camera whilst i am recording i can also switch to the back camera while still recording so i've never knew you could do that Overall, it's a pretty sunny day and still the screen is visible. Not sure if the recording shows this as well as you can see much of my reflection of my head, um, but it's quite noticeable. Um, and my lovely sister took some pictures of me and she did say the photos turn out a lot better once they are taken rather than on the screen while you're taking the photo. So you just have to trust the process. Whilst I was connecting my beats to the S23 Ultra, it was easy. I didn't know if there's a way to find out how much battery I have left on them i couldn't find it anywhere apart from that it did connect automatically once i paired it with this phone so on our way to the asian supermarket i'm using google maps with my cellular data 5g and i really like this feature of the map minimizing while still being on the screen while i'm changing music or doing other things in meantime so we made it and we picked up some goods i love the little mattress sticks i'm going to get them again oh my god they were really good and on our way home now, you're walking through a park. Also, I didn't realize the adaptive brightness mode puts to like full blast in the sun. That would explain where the battery is at. 47% now. <laughs> I did forget to change the quality of the video when I was taking it. I know, I know, but I think it was at HD 30 FPS resolution. My bad, I was just too excited when I saw the squirrels. It was so cute and i was zooming in and out while i was taking the video so there was a bit of disruption of the quality but once it was focused it looked decent it had vibrant colors and quick selfie why not it was a portrait mode And overall holding the phone in one hand doesn't seem too scary i can reach some areas of the screen without the help of my other hand and i can imagine it would be easier for people with bigger hands as i fyi i have small hands if you don't already know i tried to do the whole moon thing trend with the 100 times zoom in feature in the daylight but it did not 
it did not look that impressive but here it is anyway um don't want it wasted and overall the 5g was great it was a mix between 4g and 5g but it had no issues with the speed and i didn't feel a difference when it was changing in between when i got back i was really really hungry so i heated up some noodles and i had the urge to watch just a kids animated movie on netflix i think it's called beast something i don't know you get to watch a bit with me and i like how flat the screen is and the video blends in with the notch <sighs> The sound was nice and crisp, as you may have heard a glimpse. For the last part, I am going to look through the photos we took today and get rid of the people that ruined my shots. Oh, disgusting. No, I'm joking, but um, <laughs> I'm going to use the eraser. Um, it works really well as it fills in the background with the details that were already there. So, it, and it's so quick. It only took me a couple seconds. <music> I have not gotten used to typing on this keyboard though it does feel a little squishy but I think you can adjust it in the settings I haven't looked around to adjust it yet but the suggested words do help a lot too and the social media use is nice for images and videos like on Instagram scrolling has a good speed with the 120 Hertz and I like how the video just comes to life the the brightness the video just pops with color when you start to watch the video um, I also have to show you this amazing TikTok of an owl. It, the quality just looked so pretty. Like, I couldn't believe it. It was just feeling like 3D and stuff. So I was like mesmerized. Um, but scrolling through TikTok is also nice and easy. The videos just instantly play with good quality. And there's no loss of pixelations when loading each video up, no matter how fast you scroll. And... You know, at this time I just started to get bored, like I really wanted to get rid of the battery percentage and so I played a random game with the S Pen, which was nice. It was responsive with, with the moves for the game, um, but the game was quite a slow burn to be honest and then I watched more YouTube. And then say if you are away from the screen a little bit and you can't bother to like change the, change the, I don't know, the sound or the video. Um, with your fingers you can just use the S Pen so I just turned just tested it up had the volume up or down with these motions and um, but yeah so there we have it the S23 Ultra totally survived my day and we still got what 12% battery left that's that's great and it's 11 p.m. as well so even after I watched the movie to close the videos photos edited my edited my photos used the phone with a team score so i'm very satisfied with the battery power of like i think it's 5000 milliamps um and as a conclusion here is the breakdown of the battery used and let me know your thoughts on the s23 ultra battery life if you have the phone since day one how is your battery use and does it handle all your daily activities let me know in the comments below also, don't forget to check out Flexi Spot to get your pop up desk. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!